Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here and this is a video demonstration and also a tutorial of how you can get the autocorrect bar in iOS 5. It's a hidden feature just like how the panorama uh, hidden was a hidden feature as well. This is another one. I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys, tell you what I think about it, then I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, first of all, let me just go ahead and type and you'll see that this is different. You can see now I type Y but I can also check and select from different words here as well I could just go ahead and type and that's how that's basically what it is that it reminds me of uh, those old oh I don't know how Motorola stuff is but when I used to use like the old Motorola razors and stuff like that it had that and I actually loved it but it actually sucks on this uh, I guess probably that's why it was hidden and it wasn't released but let me just go ahead and show you you have to like confirm every word so if I go ahead and put the I have to actually look for the and select it or I can just press confirm every time you have to press confirm either it's not gonna select the word or you have to just like select the word up here whatever word you want after you hit confirm you also have to hit space which is another waste of time and this button up here actually crashes it every time you hit that button so yeah it sucks I don't know I don't see what's the point of it but I know some of you will uh, will want to play around with it so I'm going to show you guys how to do it but it's reversible so I guess you can play with it you don't have to be jailbroken this is actually my iPhone 4s and you know there's not a jailbreak out for this so yeah now I'm going to show you guys how to do it so yeah guys now I'm going to show you how to do this it's pretty simple uh, you're only going to need one thing is this uh, I backup bot for iTunes the link and it is going to be in the description of where you can download this now the first thing you're going to have to do is back up your device in, to iTunes back up your iPhone iPod touch iPad whatever device you're using this on back it up to iTunes install I backup bot if you haven't installed it already and then you're going to launch I backup bot so I'm gonna go ahead and I already have it launched so I'm gonna open it up right here now you're gonna see the devices that you have uh, backed up these are all the stuff that I have or had backed up in here that's the backup I have so you're gonna locate your device this is my device right here this is the one I'm using you can tell from the date that you back it up you can see this is the one I back up and you can also check your your stuff that you have your information and go in the settings and check the stuff and you know which one so now what you got to go ahead and locate is libraries slash preferences slash com dot apple dot keyboard dot p list you can see it right here it's not really an alphabetical order after you get the library preferences com dot apple dot it's not an alphabetical order, so you're going to have to look for it but it's there now you're going to click on that uh, if you have i backup if you didn't pay for it and it's a trial version just cancel the message and this is going to open up now what you got to do is the line this line is going to be in, in the description just uh, copy this line and then you're going to go ahead and paste it in here now you're not going to have this last line this is the line I actually have so you're not going to have that just go ahead it's going to be below this last one which is body setup note and true you're going to just tab hit enter and then paste it right in here so let me just delete this quick so all you got to do is go ahead and just paste it right in here. So hit enter and then go ahead and paste it. And leave it just there. Now what you go to hit save, you're going to uh, save it. After you finish saving it, you're going to go up here to the top. You see this little um, thing right here. It says restore backup slash file to iPhone slash iPod touch that you're gonna hit that button and then it's gonna go ahead and restore your device from the backup which is this backup right here now if you're using a GV sim uh, you have to restart your phone if you do this so please keep that in mind you're gonna have to restart your device but that's basically how it is it's easily reversible all you have to do is come right back in in the same file and then go ahead and delete the same just delete the line save it and then do the same thing restore from backup and you it's reversible so yeah it sucks but if you guys want to go ahead and play with it and see if you like it it's up to you that's basically it please rate comment subscribe have a nice day.